Hello guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how we can perform helmet detection with the help of YOLO 11. So if you don't know, YOLO 11 is a computer vision model. With the help of that, we can perform object detection, image segmentation, key point detection, uh, image classification and oriented bounding box. So in my YouTube channel, I already created one amazing playlist uh, on top of this YOLO 11. So there, I already showed you so many examples of the YOLO 11, so you can check it out. So here's the notebook guys I prepared helmet detection using YOLO 11. So first of all you have to connect this notebook with your GPU. So let me connect. So this is my GPU and I will try to connect. See here we'll be fine tuning one uh, pre 10 YOLO 11 model. So that's why we need a GPU here. So let me reconnect the notebook. And all the resources would be available in the description section from there you can download. And you can see the YOLO 11 model too. So it is available in the alternatives. So if you open the alternatives so you'll see that. Uh, YOLO 11 is available and all kinds of models are also available. Now you can use any kinds of model um, as per your requirement. So my notebook is connected. Now let me just check whether I got GPU or not. So this is the GPU I got. Okay, the first thing guys, what I have to do, I have to set up the Altalytics package because if I want to use YOLO 11, I have to install this particular package. And in my previous tutorial, I already explained, okay, how to set up the Altalytics, how to do the uh, custom training and all, everything I tried to clarify. Now, if you want to check the version of the Altalytics and the environment uh, version and all, you can execute this command. Let's say you want to set up this thing in your local machine. Okay, that time, what will be the Python version? What will be the, let's say, uh, uh, I mean, uh, package version? If you're using GPUs, what will be the GPU co configuration? That means what is the CUDA version and all, everything it will show you. Okay, then let me import the YOLO and image function. Okay, because I need it. Now, we'll be downloading the data. Now, you can ask me where we'll get the data. Data is available inside RoboFlow universe. So RoboFlow is uh, one amazing uh, platform. So it will give you all kinds of computer vision related tools and technology. So it is having one amazing product called Universe. So inside Universe actually we are having all kinds of computer vision related data. Let's say you want to perform object detection, classification, segmentation, key point detection, all kinds of data are available. Now let's say I want to perform helmet detection. Simply search for helmet detection, okay? So you'll see different, different kinds of helmet detection data would be available, okay? Now here I will be using this particular data guys. You can see helmet detection computer vision project, this data. And if I show you the level, so this uh, this data is having actually multiple classes like cycling helmet, half face, then helmet, then hard hat, then helmet, then a modular helmet, motorbike, okay, motorcycle, no helmet. Okay, so these are the actually classes we are having. You can see this is the image. Okay, so if you can open up any kinds of image, you can see that. See, this is the image. So now if I want to get the data from the RoboFlow, guys, what I have to do, I have to click on the project. So there is a download option is there. Now I'll be selecting the YOLO 11 format. Okay. Because we'll be using YOLO 11 and this data is already annotated. You don't need to annotate it. Okay. It is already annotated. Now let me click on continue, select the code and continue. We'll be downloading with the help of codes in a bit. Okay. So copy the code and just try to paste here. Now if I execute, it will automatically download the data from the RoboFlow, uh, RoboFlow universe. Now see guys, this data is available. Uh, you can see inside the folder and data.yml file is there. Now see guys, it is having 13 classes and all the classes list you can see. Now only you just need to change the folder location. So let me change. So I'll open the uh, train, copy the path and try to replace this folder. Also, I will do it for my validation, then testing. Okay, now let me save and now we can start the training. So you can see the data location. Okay, now this is the training uh, command. So task is equal to detect, I want to perform model, mode is equal to train, data location, YAML file, and I'll be using nano model. Okay, and epoch, let's train um, 50, 50 epoch as of now. Uh, you can also increase the size as per your requirement. Let's say you need a good model, you can increase the epoch size. And image size uh, 640 because during trading, actually, they use this particular size. Okay, that's why we are giving. Now, let me start the trading. So, first of all, it will download the model, that YOLO 11N model. After that, it will load that data. Then, it will start the training. Okay, so you can see one uh, option is coming, enter your choice. So, it is telling you, do you want to connect to 1DB? So I'll tell, no, I don't want to connect the 1DB. So here what I'll do, 
uh, I'll just give three here, okay? Because you can see three, don't visualize my result. So guys, as you can see, my training has started. Uh, so training will take time. So what I will do, I'll pause the video. Once training is completed, that time I'll come back. So guys, as you can see, my training is completed and it has saved all the artifacts inside uh, this runs folder. If I open the detect train inside weight, actually you are having the weight. Okay, the model actually we have trained. Apart from that, these are some uh, evaluation metrics it has also saved. Now let me plot some of the like uh, graph and let me show you. So this is the multi-class uh, confusion matrix you can see. And uh, this is the level, like how many level you are having in this data. So see guys, uh, I think very less you are having no helmet. Okay. Then uh, if I show you the results, that means the losses and MAP score. This is the graph. You can see loss is decreasing as per epochs is increasing and accuracy is increasing as per epochs is increasing. That means it's learning better. Now you can see some batch images as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can see some batch images. Okay. Okay, now let's do some inference operation, guys. So here you can see I'm giving my model, the model actually I've trained. So this is the model location. Let's try to copy this base.pt path. Okay. And just pass it here. This is my model location. And this is my uh, data. That means I'm giving my test images. Okay, test image sources. I want to see all of the test images uh, detection. You can also pass single image. I'll also tell you. Let me first of all execute. See, in the runs folder, it will create uh, another folder called predict. Inside that, it will save all of the images. Around 568 images we are having. Now, see, these are my detection. Okay, you can see this is a sports uh, helmet. 98% uh, my model is confident. Now, if you want to plot them, you can also execute this code. It will uh, pick some of the detection. It will show you here. Okay, see. So here you can see cycling helmet and this is the half uh, face helmet. Okay, half face helmet. Then uh, this is also half face helmet. Okay. Okay, now if you want to perform uh, on a single image, so what you can do, just try to upload your image. Let's say this one image actually I'm having. You can also rename it. Let's say helmet JPG. Now I can copy the path and here you have to give the image URL. So here I can give helmet dot jpg. Okay, now see if I execute. So now if I open the runs folder inside detect, it has created another predict2 folder and this is the results. Let me also visualize it. okay see it's a not shell helmet that means my model is working well and if you are having any video guys so you can execute this command so here you only need to give the video okay video source and if you want to use the camera at that time you have to give the zero here and whenever you're using camera make sure you're running from your local machine because pull up can't access your camera okay so yes guys this is how actually we can perform the uh, like helmet detection not really helmet detection you can perform any kinds of detection okay with the help of this technique and you can use this yol 11 model it's one of the amazing model they have trained so yes guys, this is all about uh, from this video. I hope you liked it. So thank you so much.